Welcome back to the show. That's a hometown crowd right here. Oh my God, this is. Yeah, I mean, uh, I want to know uh, about you guys growing up because you're your New York City uh, brother. You're all brothers from New York City. That's true. Uh, you grew up here, and, and how long have you been performing together? I know you know each other forever. But... Yeah, so yeah, we do. We uh, we started off street performing in Washington Square Park and Central Park like 18 years ago. And you were maybe seven? I was seven at years the time. old. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah. yeah. Were you really? I actually, no, I actually was. Yeah, you were yeah. seven years old. Seven years old. Yeah, and yeah. how did you get into uh, uh, busking? What would you do? So we just knew nobody in the industry. So we were like, I guess this is our in into the industry. It, like the funny thing was that we, as we did it more, we ended up making a lot of money. And people, when I say that to people, they're like, wow, you must have been really good. But then I go, imagine you're walking through the park and you see a seven year old boy singing. New York State of Mind by Billy Joel, you would feel like a really bad person if you didn't give him all of your money. Yeah. Right? And, and, and you would do this, who, who would take you there? Just uh, dad or? Who? I, we would, I think our parents would go, here's a, the, how much was a bus back then? I don't know. Here's, yeah. a, here's a quarter for the bus. This was in 1942. I don't know. Here's <laughs> yeah. a quarter. No. Probably $1.50, $2. Yeah. Yeah. Take the bus. We'll see you when you get back. Let us know how it goes. That kind of thing. Really? Yeah, we, we wanted to do it. Yeah. And, and you just went and sang karaoke. Did you have microphones? No. You didn't have we had microphones. We did, right? We did have microphones and we tap danced. Yes. You tap danced? I don't see anything funny about that. No, you know. <laughs> that image? No. We yeah. actually have a clip. Weirdly enough, here's AJR busking in New York City back in 2005. Take a look at this. Wow. <laughs> That's impressive. Thank you. That's impressive. What was on your t-shirt there? It says TB3? Oh, it's so embarrassing. It, the, it's, uh, <laughs> do you want to say it? The, the, ba the band name was Tapping Brothers to the Third Power. <laughs> <laughs> why didn't you... Why didn't you keep that name now? The tap <laughs> you, that would have sounded good coming out of your mouth. Now welcome Tapping, Tapping Brothers, Brothers to the, to the third, third Power, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's how, that's how we know them, yes. I want to talk, uh, your album is, just came out at midnight. Yes. How does it feel? Congratulations. Oh, and thank you for doing our show. Thank you. It means a lot to us thank that you. you're here. Uh, the album title is called The Maybe Man. Uh, what's the story behind the, the title? Uh, we had a crazy couple years writing this album. Some crazy family stuff happened to us. Our dad actually uh, got sick and passed away during the making of this album. When that happens, it's really sad, but it's also like, oh my God, I now know what matters in life. It's like all these other opportunities and choices that you were worried about, it's like, nope, this is what matters in life. It's friends and it's making art that you really love. And I think that's a lot what it's about. It's like becoming 30 and being in your 30s and realizing like, oh, this is what I want my life to be now. Gosh, that's, wow, that's tough, uh, tough uh, couple years uh, dealing with this. Uh, well, he's, he's got to be proud of you guys. And what you... Oh, he was, yeah, yeah, he was definitely our biggest fan, I would say. He's, he's the whole reason we do this, honestly. He was such a music lover, and he said, I, I want to give you my knowledge of music and hope go do something with it. At the end yeah. of every show, I would always look forward to looking out at him in the audience, because at the end of the show, he would always stand up and just go like yes. this. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. That's a good dad. That's a good supportive dad. There we go. Yeah. Uh, well, you announced that you're going on an arena tour with the album next year. Yes. Uh, and it, it included, uh, I couldn't help but notice, a stop at Madison Square Garden. And I was going to say, to kids, to kids who were born and raised in New York, how does it feel to be playing Madison Square Garden? I, I don't think I'm going to really process it until we get up there. We grew up like five blocks downtown, literally, from Madison Square Garden. So I'm hoping we can say, maybe we can be the only people ever to like leave our house and walk to Madison Square Garden <laughs> to go, <laughs> to actually go play there. Maybe that'd be Yeah, cool. you might be one yeah. of the first people to ever do that. Yeah, but that's, it's insane. Oh, that's be And, and I, I got to say, I'm a fan of uh, Yes, I'm a Mess. Thank you. Uh, which you're performing tonight. Yes, we are. On our yeah. show. Um, <laughs> Uh, the, the video, by the way, uh, turned out fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Um, this is this is you. You were you were dressed as a Times Square Elmo. I was. Yes. Yeah. That was is that, me. Was that always the plan of the video? No, that was not. The, the, this is how it went. There's a little message in the beginning of the video that says what happened. What happened was we spent a lot of money on the what was supposed to be the music video. We ended up finishing it, and it just didn't feel right. Like something in our gut was like, "This is not going to work." And the video was needed like the next day. And so we have to come up with an idea. And I don't know where it came from, but I said, me in an Elmo suit in Times Square trying to get tourists to take photos with me. Was it hard for people to take 
It was nearly impossible, yes. <laughs> I think I think like maybe I got three and I asked 500 people to do this. This is a tough gig. I mean, you... It's, it's, so what I did realize was that the people, the other dress up figures are so good at this. They're amazing. And the reason I, the way I found out how was I kind of started to kind of assimilate with them. Smart. And they, they, and then so I went in, I was like, hey, we're all Elmo. And they started to really befriend me. They were like, oh, come on in. They were gassing me up. That's a great Elmo costume. Where'd you get it? And then I was getting really excited. And then two Minnie Mouse, like costumes come over and they go, let me, let us be in the video. And they start doing a kick line with me. I'm like, this is fun. And then we stop and they're like, that was fun. You know, it's really cold out. And like, do you mind giving us, you know, a little something? And I went, yeah. And I, I kind of gave them all my money because we're friends. And then I walked away and I was like, that's how they're not my friends. No, yeah, they're, they're genius. <laughs> they are absolutely genius I, I at what they do. Yeah. Uh, here's a photo of you, by the way. Uh, uh, oh. Yep. Getting, getting arrested yeah, in yeah. Uh, Times Square, yeah. Yep. Uh, it's very, very uh, fantastic video. And, <laughs> Thank uh, you. You're gonna perform it for us later on tonight. And congratulations, the album is officially out. The Maybe Thanks Man, so AJR. It's available right now. And they're performing for us after the break. I'm so happy to talk to you guys. And thank, thank you, you so again much. for being here. Come thank right you. back, everybody. More Tonight Show. Hey, hey.